Hey guys, I've just received a small package from the US. If I'm not mistaken, it's an FDM printed puzzle made by Jonathan Byrne. So I'm eager to open that. Let's go. So it seems that I've ripped the package open when I was removing the address. And uh, so let's take a look inside. Uh, there's a note from Jonathan or NK Cubed. Um, well, he says that this is not just a 3D printed puzzle, it's also a mod. And I agree with him because I used to own my own desktop 3D printer and there's a lot of work, uh, a lot of post-processing. And uh, he says it wasn't perfect because he had to, uh, to tension the puzzle himself and, by, and uh, to do so he had to hand cut some springs and stuff. So I, I know it's a lot of work and I, I totally understand. So it's, it's, I, I'm not surprised at all that he would say that. Uh, so let's see what's inside. This is the puzzle that he sent me. Wow, the, the printing quality is much better than I expected. Let me see if I can um, get a closer look at this. Uh, this is actually the core, and it seems like those production lines are barely visible at all. And uh, I mean, this is a high quality print. There's like this spare core right there. And uh, on this side, on this, uh, this part, well, it's the same thing, a very high quality production, and it was sanded down to perfection. I mean, if you look closely, you can barely see any production lines. Same goes for the inside here, and the outsides are even better. I mean, it, it was perfectly polished. This is a, a pretty impressive job, I gotta be honest with you. So, let's see. This is, I'm gonna show you a bit of, sorry, a bit of the geometry. Um, if I can focus on that, perfect. Okay, so this is actually the intersection of three cylinders, so you can see one there, one right here, and one right there. And this is the shape that you get, it looks like a sort of twisted, well, seed, uh, that has a, a triangular shape, so if you follow the cuts you'll see that it's, it's twisted like that, and same goes for the, the opposite side. And I really like the aesthetics of this puzzle, which, which is why I got it in the first place. Uh, I think it's a nice collector's item, so first thoughts. This spins really, really, really well. Uh, the only issue is that um, to hide the, the hole in the middle, because this is a cheese puzzle, this is the equivalent, it's just a shape mod, to hide the hole in the middle they barely put any fillets, um, well sorry, Vladi barely put any fillets on his files. Um, so that means that there will be lockups, I think. And for example here, you can see I can't turn it in that direction because there is literally no reverse corner cutting. Nevertheless, it spins really well and the regular turns are very high quality. So, I have nothing to say about that. So that is great. And, uh, well, let's see. I just did that by accident. So that's pretty, pretty cool. That's a nice pattern you can make. Um, Solving is probably going to be very easy because this is a cheese puzzle, which means you've got three centers, so these three sides right there, and three edge parts, which is nothing, especially considering they don't even have an orientation. So if this is in that orientation, and then I move that here to put it in the wrong orientation, it's not going to change anything to the solved state. Nevertheless, it is going to switch the orientation of that one and that one, so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, but that can be solved using the classic, you know, R2, L2, R2, L2, R2, L2 type of moves. So this is what it looks like. You can still see on the stickers some marks. That's because there are caps um, and they weren't really sanded down enough, I guess. But it, it, it's barely visible at all. Um, my, I'd say my thoughts on this puzzle are that it's a really nice shape. Uh, it's a very simple mechanism, but it was well made and well sanded down, so you did a great job, Jonathan, uh, sanding this down. Uh, for those who didn't know, I believe this puzzle is available for free at Thingiverse. You can actually download the STL files for this and make your own, and I highly recommend it because the quality is quite good. Um, so let's let's see, let's do just like a final solve on this. It's probably one of the easiest puzzles out there. Um, all right, so let's do this, 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 and that. Okay, so this is solved. Um, it's basically faster than two by two. Then again, you have only three parts to solve, so it's very easy, but I think it's gonna look very aesthetic in my collection, so I really enjoyed this puzzle. Uh, if you did too, and if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe, it really helps, and uh, I'll see you soon with more content and more videos. Thanks for watching.